Hi, it's Joni. Welcome to Joni Young TV. This is where we talk about leadership, happiness, freedom, and your purposeful prosperity. I'm super excited today because I'm going to be sharing with you one of my favorite topics, how to get what you want simply by asking for it. Are you tired of feeling stressed from having to ask for business or referral? Or are you simply at a point of being done with rejection? No matter what country I go to or how many people I speak to, I always get this common frustration. And guess what? I'm going to show you some simple steps that will turn the table around and change your results drastically. I call it the art of strategic asking. What is the art of strategic asking? Well, it is the formula of intentional thought processing plus skillful planning plus putting yourself in the other person's mind. How do you do that? There are three essential hats you must wear. First, above all else, you need to put on the mentor's hat. You may be wondering, how can I be a mentor when the other person may have more experience than me or is older than me? or more successful than me. By definition, mentor means a wise and trusted counselor or supporter that is of influence. So the good news is you don't have to have more experience or be older or be more successful. You just have to be you. I like to emphasize the importance of the word supporter. This means be in a place of service when you approach someone. How can you be of help first? Number two, put on your deal maker's hat. This is the easiest one. Do you know the good old fashioned acronym WIFM? What's in it for me? Even though this may be the easiest one, it is the most often forgotten one. Remember, people are not so interested in who you are or what you have to say. They are most interested in what's in it for them. So when your approach is to offer something of value to them, you will get their attention and their interest. Number three, put on your trendsetter's hat. Be the person that sets a new trend for the other person. How? By taking number one and number two a step further. How can you support them efficiently and effectively? Okay, remember the formula of the strategic ask, intentional thought processing, plus skillful planning, plus putting yourself in the other person's mind. Let me give you an example. Say that you are looking for an investor for your new project or business. How would you make the approach? Most commonly, you put together a business plan or proposal, listing out all the details of your business and financial needs and projections. Then you present it. Does that sound about right? Let's reverse engineer that process. Think about your potential investor. How can you help him or her in the first place? Then think about what's in it for him or her. Then go deeper by thinking how you can help him or her, not just from the surface level like everyone else on the planet would, but really serve him or her in such a way that will improve his or her efficiency and effectiveness. Set a trend that they have never seen before. Put this into practice and you will start to see drastic results. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, subscribe to our channel and share with all of your friends. And awesomeness always happens after you watch the video because that's when the thinking process begins. So I invite you to a special one-on-one -on -one time with me so that I can help you get clear and set the intentions you desire to achieve your goals. Click on the link to sign up now. I look forward to speaking with you soon.